excited about uh, Wednesday night, UFC's fight for the troops. I want to say it's going to be in uh, Kentucky at Fort Campbell there. And one of the acts on the bill is Liz Carmouche, who joins us on the phone right now, who's an actual real-life Marine. Hi, Liz. Welcome to the Kevin Bean Show, my dear. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Doing Good, fine. Thanks. Tell me tell me about that. When did you uh, when did you sign up and join the Corps? I joined the Marine Corps at 20 and got out at 25. And you were involved in helicopter repair, as I understand, which is just a fascinating field. Can you tell me how you gravitated toward that? I didn't gravitate towards it at all. <laughs> okay. I, uh, in fact, I specifically said, under no circumstances, do you give me anything to do with electricity? And that's exactly what I got. Yeah, it's funny because they don't uh, care a lot what you want, <laughs> do they? <laughs> no, not at all. So, so no, they assigned told- it to you. Yeah, I was told, they're like, hey, you know, with your ASVAB score, you can do any MOS. So I was like, okay, I want to do recon. Well, you can't do that one because you're a woman. Okay, I want to do counterintelligence. Nope, can't do that one because you're a woman. Okay, <sighs> then I want to go uh, infantry. No, you can't because you're a woman. So I went, okay, well, what can I do as a woman? And then we'll narrow it down. Well, you have these five right here. I'm like, five, really? That's it? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, uh, I don't pretend to know anything about the military, but don't you want somebody as badass as Liz on the front lines? Don't you want her in the in the infantry? I do. Yeah. Well, you know, and back in the day, women weren't allowed in the infantry. Now, MOSs are, are opened up at that time, though. Women were stuck in very specific fields. Tell us about the <laughs> UFC fight for the troops. How How is that going to work on Wednesday? It's going to be great. Um I, you know, I've been saying that being on the on the receiving end, having known the impact I had in my own life and boosting my morale and my coworkers and everybody that I worked with and, and knew uh, when people would come out and put on these shows. And now to be on that flip side is an amazing and humbling experience. Yeah, I would imagine so. I mean, you can so easily look out at the crowd that's going to be watching you fight on Wednesday and go, hey, if this uh, had happened a few years ago, that would have been me out there, you know, just being so grateful for a few minutes of entertainment. Now, you're going to be at the Sabre Airfield in Fort Campbell, Kentucky. You're raising funds for the Intrepid Fallen Heroes Fund, uh, which is a great, uh, great charity for for the armed forces there. And you are on the bill. And did you uh, did you choose Alexis Davis or was she also assigned to you, Liz? Everything is a sign. I just go, okay, I'll do it. <laughs> they just That's say, like here's what you're yeah. doing, and you say, okay. Exactly. You know, at heart, I'm still a good Marine. Go do this. Okay. <laughs> Are you going to ask any questions? Nope. Just doing what you tell me to do. <laughs> I guess that's one thing that gets pretty pretty ingrained in your mind when you're in the service is, sir, yes, sir. I mean, that's pretty much all you need to ever know, right? Exactly, <laughs> which also gets me in trouble. I tend to come back from things. So how was it? Oh, I just... When did, what, did you ask this? No. Did you check on this? No. They didn't. You didn't tell me to do any of that. I just went and did exactly what you told me to do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Liz, tell me about Alexis Davis. What? Uh, what's? Uh, you've not fought, fought her before. What do you know about her? Uh, I know uh, a lot about her. She's a really well-rounded fighter. She has multiple backgrounds. I mean, she has a black belt in jiu-jitsu and Brazilian jiu-jitsu. She has a Muay Thai background. She has a wrestling background. She is a tough fighter that never goes down easy. And with that said, she's also going to be a great opponent. Uh, do you Are you the type of fighter that needs to work up some kind of anger against her, or you can just get in there and take care of business that night? No, I don't need to at all. I can just, the moment I walk in that cage, um, it's about me finishing it. And that's the only thing that, it doesn't matter who they put in front of me, it, I'm just there to do my thing. Uh, this is the voice of Liz Carmouche here on the Kevin and Bean Show. We're talking about the UFC Fight for the Troops, which is going to be Wednesday night on Fox Sports 1. Um, by the way, I re- when I was reading up on you this weekend, Liz, did I read correctly that you have, until fairly recently even, been teaching self-defense classes at near your home in San Diego? That's absolutely correct. That's cool. Are you the best qualified person <laughs> in history to teach self-defense? That's unbelievable that somebody would get to take a class from you, a UFC fighter, on how to defend yourself. How'd you, how'd you end up getting into that? Well, um, I took a lot of different self-defense classes growing up, and I've always felt like young women, it should be mandatory that in high school, in middle school even, even elementary, if you can get them to, that they have to take a self-defense course. And um, I've just been talking with with the other gym owners and just saying, hey, you know, I'd really like to put this on. I feel like some of the women have expressed interest in learning self-defense, and I would love an opportunity to do this. I have 
a lot of different tools. I don't even know if two hours is enough for me to teach them everything. But I would love an opportunity to just help them out and make them walk away from this feeling more confident in their abilities. And, and what's your one go-to move, the piece of advice you would give to ladies who are listening to the Kevin and Bean Show right now if they find themselves in a sketchy situation and they've got – what's the one move they every woman ought to kind of have in their arsenal to kind of get out of a, a situation like that? I gouge. <laughs> I gouge. That's a good one. All right. Man, I wish I had masked. <laughs> well, what, what did you think was going to be something nice and fun, Bean? Yeah. I, don't, I don't want to think about an eye gouge. Well, it is, I wonder if that's something that most people even think of unless, you know, you plant that in their brain. I mean, we're not usually taught to think go for the eyes. You know, in the self-defense seminar, before I even had an opportunity to teach someone eye gouge, she went for my eyes. So... It's a reflex, and it's a good one at that. <laughs> How about that? All right, there's a little tip to take away from today's Kevin and Bid show. <laughs> UFC Fight for the Troops is going to be on Fox Sports 1. As we mentioned, it's going to be on Wednesday. You're going to be able to see Liz going up against Alexis Davis. Any thoughts before we let you go, Liz, If whether or not you've been watching The Ultimate Fighter this season? Any thoughts on Rousey versus Tate? I haven't been. I actually don't watch television, so I'm just waiting for that, that end fight and the results. You don't watch any television? Only on Fight Week. Wow. How about that? You are you, you are a strange person, Liz. <laughs> <laughs> you are fascinating. All right, Liz, great to have you on the Kevin Amin Show. We wish you the best of luck Wednesday night. And again, you should definitely go to UFC Fight for the Troops. Check it out online because there's lots of different ways that you can uh, contribute to help the troops, too. There's an auction with all sorts of amazing UFC stuff that you can bid on if you want to raise some money for the troops and, uh, and their care. And we really appreciate you coming on the Kevin Amin Show. Great to, great to talk to you. Good luck at the fight. Thank you so much. You bet. Thank you.